Welcome to the panel discussion of Rama Ramani's book, The Next Innings, a suspense fiction novel with two storylines that will keep you hooked till the end. So, let's get right to it. Alex Kemsel, Sanjay Mishra, Vani Ayer, Ramesh Chitor, Sugeta Kalyanaraman Chandrasekhar and the author himself, Rama Ramani, are our panelists for today. Hi everyone, my name is Rama Ramani. I work at Microsoft, live in Redmond, Washington, and I am the author of The Next Innings. I look forward to your feedback on the book. My name is Alex Kempsell, and I was the copy and line editor for the book. Hi, I work at Microsoft. I worked with Rama for last 12 years or so, and that's how I know Rama. Uh, Rama based his first book on American football, a game I don't understand much. Uh, but glad Rama included cricket in his next innings, a game I love so much and a game I can relate to. Hi, I'm Vani. I have been working in marketing and communications and I have around 20 plus years of experience in this field now. I've cut my teeth on automotive strategy largely. I have worked with many clients uh, ranging from the technology field like um, you could take uh, Hughes software systems, Global Telesis, Samsung Global Telesis, to automotive brands like uh, Ford and Nissan now, and um, also brands like Vodafone, Airtel, um, and of course the Chennai Super Kings. Um, always a feather, uh, you know, in my cap to have worked with them, uh, and uh, always great fun to talk about. Hello, I'm Ramesh Chitor. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. After getting off the mark in the tech industry. I've survived five plus leap years as an all-rounder, mostly focused on strategic alliances and business development. I've come down the track, as in I've come down the stack from applications, databases, compute, networking, storage, data protection, and now cloud data management at Rubrik. Hello everyone, um, my name is Sugeta and I play cricket for the USA Women's National Team and I work as a software engineer and live in California right now. To back up a little bit, um, I was born and brought up in uh, Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India um, and I played my first uh, age group cricket in under 19 category uh, for Tamil Nadu women's team. The next innings is similar, but to get excited, I need to do something different. So I took the concept of cricket and then I took the lives of people and created characters, which is essentially a fiction suspense novel that takes two storylines and sort of brings them together and it goes over time as well as it has a people component and they sort of meet in the middle. So it's about a life coach who lives in, who lives in Chennai. It's about a young couple who moved to the US and what happens when they meet. But finally, what Next Innings does is ask one single question. What would you do in challenging times? And to know this, please do buy the book. The big reason I love doing this so much is because I know what it's like to have like whole worlds in your head and to be able to help authors and writers and all the like be able to tell the stories that they have swimming around in here. It's, it's incredibly satisfying and it's a beautiful thing to watch it like to watch the seed of idea blossom into something great so that's that's what i'm planning on doing next and that's what i'll always be doing next no matter what walk of life you are in or what stage of life you are at it is always a next thing to look forward to whether you are a young man or woman searching for purpose of life or you are in a career stage in professional world where you're looking for some progress there is always something that you look forward to and you make your work today to work for your better tomorrow. We learn from our current innings to make our next innings better and that's what this book is all about and uh, I think a lot of people will connect to this book. And I think that's what the challenge is, always zeroing into your right consumer who actually needs you. Have you done your uh, need gap analysis well? Do you know what it is that you're providing in the marketplace that's the right um, uh, value equation and um, uh, does it offer the right set of features, does it, does it appeal to your customer, what is it about love that uh, you're offering from your brand's perspective because uh, after a certain price point all products are at par and um, the 
the largest marketing challenge always is to identify the right consumer and the next big challenge is to make sure that you get enough of a uh, you know juggernaut moving for me the central character sandhya raja lakshmi in the next innings goes on to achieve great laurels for women's cricket in india and that's so similar to the real life character of lisa stalaker and what lisa stalaker has achieved for herself and for australian cricket there's going to be many such lisa stalakers created over the next decade and the key for these aspiring individuals is to focus and double down on the tailwinds just like in business once you do that you will certainly succeed if not in the first innings most certainly in the next innings like i said i work as a software engineer um in california right now and i um balancing that and cricket is is uh, always challenge honestly i'm i'm still trying to balance um uh, one thing that i have uh, probably learned is um to manage to to do a lot of time management uh, and also plan ahead for the week uh, whether i'm doing a practice session um through the week or uh anything at work uh i i kind of plan it um beforehand and ha- have it scheduled in so that i know that this day this time that um there is a practice session that i have to get to so that it's it's on the calendar so it definitely happens um so a lot of pre planning uh, and also a lot of um um focus on quality over quantity because time is very limited um, the time that you can spend for cricket is very limited not not um because of uh, managing two it's almost like managing two full time jobs so uh, always um focus on uh, quality over quantity yes i do read every feedback that i get it could be a bad feedback or a good one but it's very important because feedback is an essential component of self improvement the way i look at this is when you look good to feedback i mean you get it from people that you respect and you love it just amplifies the effect the reason to get up at 4 am and do it for 30 days 45 days won't matter you just get the energy which is amazing at the same time if you get a negative feedback or a bad feedback it takes you back a few years back it used to affect me significantly it used to keep me awake but this is what i realized there's going to be several different people out there people are going to be jealous people who really feel good by giving you bad feedback you just have to leave to let it go right कुछ तो लोग कहेंगे लोगों को काम है कहना आई वुड प्रोबेबली हैव टू से लक्ष्मी अह लक्ष्मी अह शी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल शी इज वेरी लेड बैक एंड वेरी काइंड एंड कंफर्टिंग प्रेजेंस बट आल्सो शी नोज व्हाट शी वांट्स एंड अ कैरेक्टर विद अ क्लियर ऑब्जेक्टिव इज अ लॉट मोर अम अ कंपेलिंग टू फॉलो then if they uh are just sort of following the plot uh so to me she just knew exactly what she wanted and that made her instantly charismatic to me i would like to call out the character of sudarshan uh, that's very interesting uh, there is a bit of unpredictability about this character uh, and also how the character looks at himself and uh, there are a few inner conflicts and there is a search for right purpose of life uh, something that i think uh, people can very well relate to my first instinct is to say that i really like sandhya uh, that's because you know i um, i see a little bit of um, you know her and me me and her maybe i empathize a lot more with who sandhya is and um, the way she is the way she reacts the way she tries to do things some things that i aspire to do as well to be cool calm and collected and probably carry out things like that uh but then um when you stay through the book you tend to uh, to to veer more towards uh vishwanathan or vish uh, as i uh, tend to start uh, identifying with him in terms of you know his wisdom the way he approaches things even with a little boy his conversation um you know in the book and the way he he explains the way he is so simplistic and and that's what really matters right i mean um that you get the message across and he does that beautifully and uh, without a challenge i tend to talk a lot and and i find it a constant challenge to try and keep down my number of words but uh, wish does it with such fabulous feeling and uh, absolute restraint 
that the other person uh, tends to understand immediately and and um, you know i mean the job's done that's what communication is all about and i think it's wish that I, my vote goes to in terms of a favorite um, uh, character in the book right now well i like quite a few characters the character that i like most is this one sandhya raja lakshmi she's got a growth mindset and she's also thinking more about winning together as a team as opposed to building her personal legacy she's willing to learn from others she takes her entire team into confidence and more importantly she's thinking down a few generations of building leadership in the team these are all the traits of great leaders and this is why sandhya raja lakshmi is my favorite character in the next innings uh, definitely sandhya um not only because she's a cricketer but also her life story uh, trajectory is kind of very similar to mine um i was born in born and brought up in india and then i moved uh, eventually to another country um having played and learned cricket in one country but then uh, eventually representing an adopted country um i can very much relate relate to that so she is my um favorite character from the book do the thing you want to do and that'll be your next inning <laughs> I wish Rama and the book uh, all the very best. Uh, Rama has the knack of storytelling uh, which glues together various walks of life, sports, family, career and the rest of the world. So uh, I hope people will like the book and the book will be received well. Uh, I am looking forward to Rama's next innings. His next book. My parting thoughts are uh, largely about uh, okay I'm now waiting to see if there's going to be a sequel and I'd like to know if there's more that's happening in their life So the next innings for me inspires a whole new breed of fearless risk takers And as parting thoughts the next generation needs to be armed with decision making systems using algorithms and machine learnings wherein they can weigh risk versus reward in every major decision however one needs to figure out where the myth from their next innings meets the reality for them this is where you need to be bold audacious and fully express yourselves in goal setting and in goal pursuit this time belongs to you be fearless get ready to take guard right arm over the wicket cricket is a very um intriguing sport once you get into it there is it's like a world when there is no getting out um, it, it kind of keeps you occupied um lot more than the other sport if i may say um so it's a very very uh, passionate game um and girls in general should pursue their dreams and uh, start playing the sport um uh, and uh, see how fun it is um they should always keep pursuing dream big um and no one knows um when the dreams can come true there is really no time limit um it can happen in this country or you can you could move and happen in another country but uh, uh, always keeping the dream alive gives you a chance and uh, that way so um have have a uh, have trust uh, um have keep the dream going and um i definitely have fun um have fun playing the sport so that that will be my parting advice thank you for joining the panel discussion today you can find more details about the book at www.thenextinnings.com